I'm going to show you how you can create a beautiful uh, slideshow that you can share with friends and family. And for this example, I'll be using my vintage Corvette and some images that I've captured during the summer 2023. And of course, you don't need to share those with your friends and family. <laughs> The Movavi video editor allows you to easily create nice looking slideshows in just few simple steps, helping you preserve memorable moments. You might have a collection of uh, images as well that's just sitting on your computer for no one to enjoy. If that is the case, this is definitely the video for you. This can very easily be done. Instead of the traditional way where you have to drag images into your timeline, you have to put in titles, you have to put in music track and manually adjust everything to match up in a final product. With the Movavi video editor, there's a shortcut for this that will make it a lot faster. Let me show you how. Let's start by saving our project and give it a name. We call it Slideshow Demo. Go to the File Import menu and here you can see an option called Slideshow Wizard. Click on that and a separate window will open. The following dialogues are actually pretty simple to use. Start by adding your files by either locating them in the finder or simply drag and drop them into the wizard. This works for both images and video. You can now delete and rearrange the order of the images in case you have imported some images that are not supposed to be there. The visit takes you through some predefined steps to complete the slideshow. You can continue by pressing next. Let's add some transitions. You can now select from the predefined transition groups. There are a lot to choose from and I'm pretty sure that you will find something that you like. For the sake of this tutorial, let's go with random as we have the chance to change them later. You continue by pressing next. Movavi has a range of free music to add to your slideshow. Select a lovely tune that matches the mood of your slides. I think I will go for something chill that sounds like this. You can add some basic information about your slideshow. For the opening, I will add Corvette, Dingray, 1970, at the end of the slideshow, I will add summer 2023, as this is where the majority of the images are from. And for the nerds, I will add the model number of the Corvette C3. If you're interested in knowing more about my vintage sport car, the Corvette C3, I actually released a vlog where I'm driving around talking about the car and visiting a local car meetup. So if that's something that you're interested in, then I'll make sure to link that video in the description below. Once these are added, click apply. You have the option to adjust the duration of the slides, but four seconds seems fine. Also, if you have images that do not fill the frame and you don't like the black bars, you can scale the image so it fit the frame, or you can add a background either pre-selected or you can add your own. I will just select fit to frame for this demo. Now you have the option to preview your work. You can go back to any position of the wizard and change something that you don't like. Let's say that you don't like the order of the image or maybe the music track does not fit the mood of uh, your slideshow. You can simply just go back and change that. If everything is like you want it to be, you can export the slideshow directly, upload it for online sharing or return to the video editor for final adjustments. It's very simple. And if you want to test out uh, this for yourself, I have an offer for you as a subscriber of the channel as you can download the Movavi video editor and test everything that I've shown here in the video through a seven day free trial. If you decide to purchase the software, you will get an additional 20% off if you use the code that I've provided in the description below. And if you use the link, you will get an additional uh, channel pack effects as a gift on top of this for free. So we are back in the editor where everything is important and nicely organized. You can now add the final touches. You might want to add another title or change the transition. It might make sense to add some locations to your slideshow to sort of put everything into perspective. Let's go to the titles option and look for a nice title that we can apply. You can preview them directly. And once you find one you like, you can select it and drop it into the timeline. I like the typewriter font. Shorten and position the title to match the slide. And then it will look something like this. You can copy and paste the title and change the text to make it more consistent throughout the slideshow. Once you have completed your changes, we can export the work. Let's go over how easy it is to export a video. 
If we click export, then advanced, we can adjust the export settings. The settings I've input here are the preferred video format 1080p, meaning a resolution of 1920 times 1080. That will be enough for most projects. But you can go higher if you want. If you click OK, you will return to the normal export window where you can see the estimated file size after import. Select the best quality and give your video a name and hit start to begin your export. You can decide to export to your local hard drive, but you can also export directly to other medias like YouTube. That might make it easier to share your work. Once it's done, you will end up with a slideshow that looks something like this. If you're interested in watching some of the other videos that I've made around the Movavi video editor, I'll make sure to make a playlist with all of those and you can access that playlist through this card. I hope you liked this video. If you did, then feel free to give it a like. If you didn't like it, feel free to press the dislike button twice. Thank you for watching and I'll be seeing you around.